partner is the same as me, so we just ghost each other for a weekend. <laughs> Yeah, I just think I just say stupid shit and... I get pretty angry and I am not one to hold back, so if you piss me off, I'll let you know right away. Uh, as your friend, I'm scared of you. That sounds kind of like materialistic. I'm not like a little bitch. Your girl's a mess. She's messy. Hi, my name is Ayla, and I am the most dateable because I'm super cheap. Like, you can get me kids clothes, um, happy meals, um, movie tickets for kids, because I'm really tiny, so. Are you lightweight? Lightweight. <laughs> One drink? One drink. Nice. I'm easy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Franny, and I think I'm most dateable because I carry this like motherly energy with me that I feel like affectionate and will take care of you and stuff, so yeah. I'm Jack. I'm the most dateable because I'm funny and I don't take myself seriously. I just love to have fun. Uh... <laughs> I'm not good at telling myself, but I'll make you laugh. Hi, I'm Anne Marie. I think that I am most stable because I'm a really good listener, and I think that I don't take any bullshit, which I think can be good in a relationship. I'm Ella, and I think I'm the most stable because I'm very sweet and very loyal. All right, guys, so you guys are gonna have 15 minutes to rank yourselves, and time starts now. I don't even know where to start. I Wait, which one's like, oh. <laughs> high, this is high and that's lowest? Yeah. Yeah, so oh, this is like sure best to worst. Me. I'll take first, it's fine. Okay, done. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Zing! No, stop. Not I mean. I like the, I like when you said the motherly thing. That I'm like motherly and take care of people? I'd put that first. Honestly. Really? I think yeah. you're like that you too. So you would do the same thing. Mm, okay, well. I honestly, I'll, I'm, you should go first. No, yeah, yeah. I'll just go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. What is like your best and worst quality when it comes to dating someone? Um, I'd say my best quality is I'm very caring. Like I would do anything to take care of you and make you happy. And I would say my worst quality is when I'm like in an argument or something, I go pretty quiet and silent. I think my best quality is I'm always thinking about my partner over myself. So like I'm just like very thoughtful of my partner. Um, I always put their needs before mine, which I don't even know if that's a good thing, but whatever. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> You're selfless. Yeah, selfless in the relationship, 100%. Um, and then I think my worst quality when it comes to dating is I'm kind of similar. Like when I get mad or upset about something or I, I just in general struggle with being vocal about it and it like will pent up and then don't say anything and then I just act kind of moody, but I'm working on it, I promise. Gotten better. For my best quality, I'm always thinking about my partner. Like I constantly think of ways to make him happy when he comes home. Like I want him to walk in the house and be like, oh my God, she cleaned or like, oh my God, she made me dinner. Or like, oh my God, she set this up for me. Or like, she knew I, I don't know, what I do? No, I'm no, looking at Jack and, I she, applaud and that. She, she's oh, like, I'm like, oh, oh. Okay, mm -hmm. like, um, but if I do get mad, I, my worst quality is I'm incredibly stubborn. I can go days without talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Days? Yeah. I could go a weekend for sure, like Friday through Sunday and just re regroup Monday. Wow. <laughs> regroup Monday. Do you uh, completely ghost them or you're just like, I'm mad, don't talk well, to me? Well, my partner is the same as me, so we just ghost each other for a weekend. <laughs> yeah. It's true, it's That's the Virgo love. in us. My best quality, I would say, is I'm like ride or die for my person no matter what. I always think of, kind of like the rest of them, like I always think of like what I can do to make him feel better or what he needs. Like that's my person. I don't I don't look anywhere else. I'm not looking for anything. Like that is my person and my focus is on you like full heartedly. My worst quality is that uh, I'm pretty stubborn. I get pretty angry and I am not one to hold back. So if you piss me off, I'll let you know right away. She's gonna let you have it. My best quality is I have no problem saying I'm sorry if I know that I hurt your feelings. Even if what I did wasn't intentional or I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, if I know I hurt you, no matter what it was, even if I think I'm right, I will apologize because the last thing I want to do is hurt you. And my worst quality is your girl's a mess. She's messy, very messy, not dirty, but very messy. It'll look like there's a tornado ripping through at all times. 
I'm also a hoarder, so that doesn't. Oh work. God, <laughs> Jack, why did you I'm add that? I'm also a hoarder. That? That's hilarious. So there's a lot of mess. Stop adding. But I confined it to one room. Let's say it's your guys' uh, boyfriend's birthday. What are you surprising him or giving him for his birthday? Last birthday, I gave him a surround sound speaker setup because we love watching Marvel movies and action movies, so I thought that would be great. Yeah, so for his last birthday, um, he kept talking about a trip that we took to Palm Springs with his family that we did earlier in the year. So I thought, why not like recreate that? I basically did the same thing. We went to Palm Springs, I set up a whole weekend. I invited all the people that he loves and cares about, kept it a secret and surprised him with it as like a weekend getaway. Um, his last birthday, he loves Morgan Wallen, so I got him tickets. I surprised him with tickets to go see Morgan Wallen. And then he kinda like likes you to do something like thoughtful. So like I customized these pants, like I painted on them and like wrote little like notes on them and stuff on inside the pockets. And then, yeah, I surprised him also with a birthday party at this like rooftop pool area. Everybody got to just like enjoy themselves. And it was fun because he actually had no idea, which I thought he'd find out, but he did not. I don't have a boyfriend, but I'm over fucking parties. I'm so tired of them. So like, I personally would love to plan a trip, just like the two of us or like a group of our friends to like go somewhere that maybe he's really wanted to go and stuff. Um, So my boyfriend is long distance, so I feel like the main thing I would do is make sure that I'm where he is, whether I go home or where he's living currently. And then if I could, I would just plan something with our families because that would be what he would like the most. But number one is just make sure I'm there with him wherever he is. That's so sweet. She's gonna win. She's so bad. What's your guys' love language? Receiving, I'm definitely um, gift giving. That sounds kind of like materialistic, but I mean in a sense of like thoughtful gifts. Like I don't need him to come home and be like, here's a diamond necklace. But if he came home and was like, oh, I saw this card and I thought of you and I just wanted like that. For giving, I'm definitely a physical touch and words of affirmation. I'm trying to be more acts of service because I feel like that's just a good thing to me. But yeah. Mine giving is quality time and receiving is quality time. I'm all about like just being with my person. I don't care if like we're not talking. Like we literally could just be, I just need to like be with that person and that's yeah. how I give and that's how I receive as well. Like I just want you around me. Yeah, I feel like Kian's for sure is probably like quality time and I want to say physical touch. Like I, he just needs like, even if it's a foot, just something. But like I, it's funny because mine's different. So mine is like I need acts of service and words of affirmation. So I feel like it's kind of hard to, because I want to do, I always do that for him. I always like tell him good things about what I'm feeling or like I'm huge on acts of service. Like I like him to come in the house and like feel like she thought of me, she did something for me. Mine for sure, uh, my receiving, I love quality time. Like I don't need to be doing really anything extravagant, I don't need to receive anything, but just like quality time. And then I love just like giving, so like acts of, acts of service. I love doing things for my partner. I'm the same way, like if he comes home, he's like, oh my God, like you cooked for me, you clean. Like, like oh my God, that's so, like I love doing things for my partner. So yeah, definitely act of service is. I feel like my giving and receiving is physical touch, which is funny because I'm long distance, but yeah. I feel like I shouldn't be number one. I just. No, really? I think you should be one. I think you should be. Oh, I think so you should cute. be one. Yeah. I think maybe Franny and Ayla switch. Does that, does that Ella, you know, have, being in a long distance, does that change at all? Not really. Her being in a long distance relationship? relationship? No, I think that makes it harder and yeah, that's puts her more in yeah, first yeah. place because she's been They're doing it for it so long. She's clearly really good at communication. She has a lot of patience, a lot of trust, loyalty. Those are all amazing qualities to have. So, yeah. number one. Okay, what is like the most romantic thing you've done for your significant other? I'll go first. Um, I one time like set up the whole, like my whole car, like I put all my seats down and stuff and like I um, taped like fairy lights and stuff like inside the car and like put like blankets and pillows and I bought like one of those projector things and like watch the Great British Baking Show. I can't think of a goddamn thing. <laughs> Honestly, Jack. I'm like her though because, well, I feel like for me specifically like, 
mine is gone all the time so i like seriously have to time stuff like he's always traveling he's always doing something but also i like did something earlier in the year on valentine's day where i like knew that he really he really likes the brand homer by frank ocean and it was like you could only go in store but i did research for months and months and months just like waiting because they said that they were going to be doing online stuff like they'd be selling online um and he didn't know that he thought it was only an in-store thing you could go to new york to do it so i watched for months to like figure out when it was gonna and then it launched and I like bought him the necklace that he had been looking at for months and wanted to like fly to New York and get it and I think that's pretty that's really nice romantic. like that's like thoughtful I can't think of anything I would I feel like I do little like things like if he's coming to town or something I'll like make sure I have his favorite things set out at my house or something but that's I've still never something. like that's yeah. like yeah. I don't know I don't win this one. I just feel like I'm the kind of person that I don't do like one big, massive, like, mm -hmm. like, you know, romantic thing. I'm just constantly thinking about them like throughout the day and be like, what can I do today to make them happy? Whether that's cook them breakfast or cook them dinner or maybe go to the store and buy the shoes that they've always wanted or something. And like, I just surprise them on a day and like, be like here are your sneakers that you wanted. I don't know, yeah. that's like how I am. I think that's how it like, because I don't, I, I could not think of a really yeah. romantic thing to say in my life. But, because it's the same way, like Scott is very, he's not, he doesn't give big reactions. So if I did a big romantic thing, like he'd be like, cool, nice. Like that's just how he is. Yeah. So I am very much on the day to day. I yeah. like to. Okay, what would your significant other and or just someone you're da you would date say is the worst quality about you? Me being stubborn. <laughs> Kate would be like so, like, yeah, she's so stubborn. Yeah, Anthony would say I'm pretty mean. Say you're mean? Yeah. <laughs> Not like mean, like I'm like bullying him, you guys. I don't like bully him. <laughs> Ella can attest. Like, <laughs> no, she's so sweet. No, I'm, I'm like, 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 in the sense of <laughs> like, like, yeah, she's really nice. I'm just so <laughs> bored. I don't know. Like, I feel he like deep down, just... Anthony probably likes that you're mean with him. <laughs> No, like not mean like air. <laughs> like no. No, he needs somebody that's like Anne Marie. That's a little stern. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, I'm just stern. Like I just like I'm very stubborn. I know what I want and like in a relationship, like I said, I've had to work on it because you can't be like that. Like I can't only think of myself. I can't, you know, whatever. I'm I have a like a a quick fuse and he's told me that before. Like we joke about it now. He's like, You're you're so mean, but I love you so much and I'm like Thanks. Uh, definitely that I'm messy. Also, I'm a creature of habit, so like if I get comfy in bed, <laughs> I'm gonna stay in bed. I could lay in bed for quite some hours, and he's like, "You wanna, you wanna move? You wanna get up and do anything?" So, uh, definitely. You're like, no. Yeah, it's like I, I'm messy, and I, I like to lay down a lot. Um, probably like what I said before, where I like will pent stuff up and then not say it. And then it just like ends up being a bigger issue when it could have just been bitten in the butt like the second it was an issue. I'm not a confrontational person and I just like hate bringing up like issues and conflicts and stuff. So like I said, working on it. I think you would say the worst thing about me <laughs> She's is- like, Nothing. Mm, nothing, I'm no, perfect. <laughs> no, it's probably, I'm pretty sensitive, but I'm not like, I'm not like a little bitch. Like I'm fine, but I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like sensitive to where like I'll like cry sometimes, but I'm also, I'll get quiet. So, but he should know and he does know at this point. But yeah, maybe th that I'm sensitive and I think he should read my mind a lot of the times, but he, oh. but he does, so. In the beginning stages of dating someone, all right, what would you say is the most exciting and like thing about dating you? I can, like, even if something upset me or whatever, I can snap out of bad moods really fast and I can turn, like, if, if my partner is in a bad mood, I will do whatever it takes to just, like, make them happy, make them laugh, like, get out of that funk and have fun. So I'm really good at starting fun and, like, making somebody happy. I'm good at being like, okay, let's smile and dance and have fun. Yeah, I would say I'm, I'm, I think my sense of humor, I think that I'm pretty witty, I'm like very sarcastic and I feel like at the beginning that's really fun to have that in a relationship, especially, um, I mean, with someone like him who likes to banter, who likes to have a back and forth. So I feel like my humor is something that's like really exciting at the beginning. Kind of going to copy Emery, but I think I'm kind of pretty funny. <laughs> um, I, what? Who I said, said let's go. Oh, I thought you said ooh. He's like ooh, no. He said no. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think I'm, I think I'm pretty funny. I can be. I feel like I can be a little vulgar sometimes, which is a little surprising for some people. 
Um, slash but, exciting? Slash exciting. I don't know, I just feel like it just surprises guys sometimes, like when I'm like cracking jokes and I'm just like saying some vulgar things mm -hmm. and shit like that. Yeah, I just think I just say stupid shit and, how, and I'm just like very like, you're goofy. Yeah, I'm very goofy. I'm a very goofy person. So I think in the beginning, definitely like, I feel like guys are like, oh, mm, I wasn't expecting that from her. So, yeah. Um, for me, I like to be extremely spontaneous in the beginning of like a relationship. So like when I first started dating Kean, I was like, I was like, let's go jump in someone's pool. We like hopped over so, a fence and I jumped in a random jump. person's pool. <laughs> we got tattoos before we even saying I love you or we're boyfriend, girlfriend. Like matching tattoos? Yeah, we just randomly took a trip to New York. I was like, we were kind of like hanging out at this bar and I was like, let's go get a tattoo. And we went and got a tattoo. What is it? Let me see. You can't really see it, but it's here and his is right here. It's like, it says BB because we saved a bumblebee, so. Wait, rewind. Were you wearing clothes in that pool? We, yeah, we, we were. We were, 100%, we 100%. Brian I mean, asking for Kian. Like, was Kian wearing clothes? Kian took his pants off. But he was wearing underwear. Did you see the bulge? Mm -hmm. I'm like, why does this matter? <laughs> yeah. Boxes are brief. Right. I would say the most exciting thing is people probably think I'm like kind of quiet and stuff, but I feel like then once you get to know me, I'm like really not at all, and I'm pretty funny. And so I would say that would be the most exciting thing because it would be maybe a little bit unexpected. All right guys, so the end of the video, time's up. Do you guys want to re-rank each other at all? No, I think we should just stay like this and if the guys want to change us, they can. But okay, I huh? I'm, I feel like we're all great girlfriends. Honestly, yeah. So like, I really don't, yeah. Okay, Jack. Even you, Jack. Jack, you're great. Even you. I would date you. I'm taking a lot of notes <laughs> of how to become better. You think Jack deserves to be at the bottom? I mean, like, I love Jack as a person, so, like, she deserves to be at the top for sure because, like, how good of a girlfriend. Like, she's loyal, she's funny, she's, like, caring, she's sweet. I guess compared to our answers, <laughs> hers is the lowest. I think we're all ones. Yeah, we're all ones. All right, guys, so uh, before we start, we just want to say you guys are all very dateable. Mm -hmm. You guys are amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we appreciate you guys. Thank you. And for Thanks. loving our friends. Start crying. Because they I all love you. All right, guys, what do you feel? Personally, agree or disagree, I would switch Ayla and Franny. Why? I, I think Franny and Ella, for me, are more closer to the top. They're just, like, very overly caring and very, like, sensitive to their partner, I think. For me, Ayla feels like she rides right in the middle because she can be very sensitive, but she can also ghost her partner for the weekend. <laughs> So but I'm he ghosts me too. What? <laughs> it's an equal situation. We're equal. I would, I would switch Ayla and Jack because of the I can't go a whole day without talking it out. I'm like, let's just talk about it and it'll be over. If you go a whole weekend, <laughs> it was like, fuck, oh I didn't say that. I was gonna say like, I think oh! the the order was great, but that the weekend ghosting yeah. definitely like stood up to me like, oh shit. Yeah. That but it like, would drive me nuts. Time. I was like, Same. oh my God, like do all it. weekend. It's like you are on like both yeah, sides. Jack, I'm, I'm like super right clean. clean. So like I, when you were like, I have clothes everywhere, I was like, yeah, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I, but see the thing you. is like Scott is super clean, so it, it works. works out, it's yeah. a nice balance. No, no, exactly. I'm sure all you guys are able to clean people, uh, but not messy because then we would just be a full mess. No, no, yeah. <laughs> Personally, I would move you up one because Camilla and I are the same way. She's like very messy same. and I, she's very messy, same. but very clean. I'm very like- Yeah, but doesn't that drive you nuts? No, not really. You learn to love it because when she comes <laughs> over and leaves all of her stuff all yeah, over, yeah, I want to learn all sides. Like, it just leaves a little piece of her when she's like away for a while. No, for me, I just the hoarding. Well, Jack, I love you, hey. and, your, and your actual your your funniness hey. would put you over here and stuff. If, if you weren't a hoarder, I'd be like, ah, oh, Jack, maybe like two or three. <laughs> but, dude, my mom's a hoarder, and I just can't do like... Okay, I'm not ass. like an actual hoarder. I don't need to be on TLC <laughs> or anything. I just have a lot no, of clothes, and I, it's hard to get rid of them Yeah, sometimes. I've been in your room. There's like three or four like little mounds of clothes. I, I do want to add, too, for Anne-Marie, like, the fact she fixed, like, whenever oh. there's an issue, like, you bring it up right away. Like, I, I think, to me, that's, like, so important if you want, like, a long relationship. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good Arguably thing, but also you sound like thing. you get aggressive with it. <laughs> yeah. Also, you're like, I, I'm not like aggressive with it. I just like bring it up. It's not like I'm screaming at him. I just like, I just bring it up. 
Uh, I'm you, very calm when I bring it up. But you did say you were mean. <laughs> and personally, <laughs> you I, couldn't, guys all know that. I couldn't yeah. do I couldn't do meanness because I would just cry. <laughs> I would. No, I, I, I do love the fact that you're really funny, like you said. Mm -hmm. That that for yeah. me is just like a big thing. But uh, as your friend, I'm scared of you. Sometimes. <laughs> but in a loving way. I just want to say that in a loving way, because it's that's what we love. I don't take you. it offensively, like it, it is who it, I am. I'm like very, like everyone's always told me I'm very intimidating. I don't try to be. It's just like, it is what it is. You yeah. know I mean? You love cool. me or you don't. Yeah, that's I, a, I, yeah, I, that's I, a cool like it. I like it. I like it. I think as a friend, so cool. I, I feel like a lot of the things you guys didn't like about yourselves, well, some of the things like I feel like I like about you guys, you know, like you're messy, messy but it's like, I like that. I wouldn't date you for that. That's why I think, you know. Why would you like that she's messy? Because Eileen's messy too, and so I get it, but like, okay, I, I think yeah. your level of messiness. I <laughs> I beg to differ that Camilla might be more messy than you. Oh man. Oh god. <laughs> Should we talk about Ella? Ella, you just won this thing by a landslide. Well, I, I was, gonna, I was gonna say we you, you said you don't won. like Mean Girls, but I feel like Ella's too nice for me. Like yeah, I, don't I would know say if I would the date same. Someone as nice as you. I feel like it's it's just. You said I don't you know. Said, I don't really you like said the you soft start spoken. Crying. Yeah, actually, just like a random like. No, no, I don't cry at him. I'll just, I don't get mad. Cry like, I don't have the, like, emotion, like, anger. But, so if I'm upset, I'll just get sad. But I would never, yeah. For me, uh, Ayla should go a little higher because I like those, like, grand gestures or, like, those surprise. I love surprises. I love thoughtfulness, like. But I, I wasn't here for her when she said the ghost thing, so I don't know what she Okay, said. can I just yeah. clarify real quick yes. to everybody watching too? I'm not like, it's not like if you call me and you text me, I'm just ghosting you. Like, if you call me and text me, yeah, we're gonna talk it out. But can I go silent until you wanna like talk to me? Yeah, because I'm just like trying to sit in my thoughts. I'm not trying to yell at you. I'm not trying to like get upset. I'm like, I'm just gonna go home and I'm gonna stay with myself. If that lasts a weekend, I guess it lasts a weekend. But that's also based on my partner too, and he's the same. So we just I take guess a break. I get that because I do that sometimes. Yeah. I, I feel need, like, like I'm not good at letting away. them process. I'm like, no, let's talk about it right now. Yeah, I don't. But then that'd be that's different. Right. I, I don't know who I am. I'm like yeah. right now, and Scott's like you. He's like, let's just take our space and yeah. breathe and talk when we're ready. And I'm like, now. I feel like we both, as soon as we were doing this, we both were like. We're gonna be four and five. We I know. mean, I could, we I know. would be uh, happy at five. I know Jack's way nicer than I am, so. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's about date, like date, like if yeah. I were to say date Jack, we would both be super messy. We would both like lay in bed, like that's not yeah, it's good. About, yeah. You yeah. need that like <laughs> other person opposite. to get your ass yeah. up. Right? Yeah. yeah, like yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I could never date someone else who's like like. We would get nothing done. Like, 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 yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, yeah, we would yeah, not. We would not. Not at all. Calms me down. You know what I mean? I think you guys did a great job the way you ranked it. So what do you guys think? Is this the official? I don't know. This is good for me. I, I, I see what you mean. I, mean I, would, I would personally move Ella down. I, I, I would personally move her down too, only because I think we're the same. Like we kind of like a little spice. You said too nice. Yeah. Too, I don't like too like, nice. I that's said, why I, that's why I do like Franny too. and Emery. And Franny's just like, I've known her so long. I'm like, you can get down. <laughs> really? No, I feel like I'll go know. down to five then. <laughs> huh? I'll go down to five then. Ella. Not in my book. Well, let's do, look, who votes that Ella is one? Raise your hand. Oh. Sorry, Ayla, you're super nice. What about Ayla, number one? I feel like Ayla's are pretty good. Like, I, I feel like Ayla's really good at, like, she's a great girlfriend, like you guys all are. Uh, but she's the perfect one. mix between, like, the, the spicy. Yeah, I can see number one. I, Thanks, I think Kevin. the grand gestures. I'll send you the remote. And, uh, uh, yeah, the grand gestures kind of took it for the me. The grand gestures and, and the, skinny the spontaneous, dipping. like, pool, New York yeah. tattoo. Underwear. That's some shop you like. Let's yeah. do it. But you better text me back on And Saturday. you know what? And you know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, fuck. The texting thing, shit. Oh. It's not that bad. <laughs> but I don't think sometimes I walk away too. But I also love space. But I don't know about yes. if you're getting an argument, I hate going to bed upset at someone. Yes. That's well, the that's, worst that's thing. That's the thing is we're not arguing really. It's like we're both feeling some kind of like tension. So it's like I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go home. And like I'm just going to cool off. And like you cool off. And then when we're ready to talk, we'll talk. Same yeah, I, I would okay. probably, I mean, for me, I'd probably switch you guys. No, move over and then Ella. Ella? Ella? Ella goes yeah. Off. Yeah. I'd move Amory up one too, because I know she was like mean and stuff, but that's kind of she's funny. Well, I really like the Frank Ocean thing you did. Again, I'm that's all true. I'm stuck on that's that thoughtfulness true. shit. I really, really yeah, that shit. and you're really funny. I mean, I personally, if I were speaking, I would keep Ella ahead of me. This isn't your moment. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, how are we feeling about this, guys? I, I, I don't even know you that well, but I, I try to go based off the conversation. I think I this is good. Okay, Alex, what do you think? I like it. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Kev? We. 
We. Me. I hate it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's like, switch. Range. All right, well, this is our ranking. Shout out to the ladies. You guys are all ones, dude, seriously. Let's all agree on one thing. Stop. Maybe, maybe text him back after a day. Not a whole weekend. Oh my god, I can't take this. <laughs> Maybe like figure it out, then have your alone time. I can't yeah. take this. Alone time is good, but three back. days? Yeah. I can't take right, it. Long it's long reading. Three days quite a bit. Love you guys. Yeah, I knew. No, I, I would have put you guys well. higher, but the, the, the hoarder thing, I was like, oh my God. I knew. As soon as I said that 